Hello and welcome to what will inevitably be a very brief discussion on social media campaigns. And this uh, online lecture will be very brief because we're going to talk about these things more in class. Because this concept is not found in the textbook, but I believe that it's a very important concept to talk about. Um, not only in a small group communication class, but in any class where community activism is, is going to come into play. There are different rules, there are different strategies, there are different things to think about communicating online via social media um, in order to raise awareness about a cause or to raise money or to promote something. So we're going to talk about these a little bit more specifically and in depth in class. But let me just give you a brief orientation as to what social media campaigns are. We all know what social media is, right? And probably the thing that pops into our head first and foremost is Facebook. And most of us, if not all of us, watching this lecture are connected to Facebook. You might be very connected to Facebook. More and more and more people are joining this global platform to communicate with others. Um, and Facebook is a communication platform. We use it to communicate with others. So this is very much a communication topic that we need to be talking about. Maybe you're a Twitter person, and I also use Twitter, which is a little different type of communication platform, but definitely still a communication platform. And there are others, whether they be blogging platforms, whether they be photo blogging or photo voice platforms, whether they be uh, self-interest platforms, maybe something like uh, Pinterest. These are all social networking, social networking communication platforms. And uh, they are very, very effective, not only in our interpersonal communication, encounters, but also in our communication encounters with organizations, with companies, and they facilitate discussions between companies and consumers in a way that no other platform has been able to do. So what is a social media campaign then? We know what social media is. Well, a campaign is very simply defined as this. Social media campaigns stem from social media marketing, which is the idea that we use social media to promote brands, products, or causes not a very deep concept and something we've all likely had experience with. So the whole idea behind social media campaigns is pushing out a cause, pushing out some type of advocacy or some type of awareness raising cause uh, via social media. Why would we do this? Well, we're going to talk more specifically about this in class, but there are many reasons we would do this. Social media has a very high volume of traffic. Think about the amount of people that pick up the Kansas City Star versus the amount of people in the Kansas City area that are connected to Facebook. If you really wanted to get a message out, would you somehow get it out to as many people as you can via Facebook or just put it in the Kansas City Star? Likely you would use social media. There's a high volume of traffic and more and more companies, organizations, and advocacy causes are using social media as opposed to other traditional forms of media like print advertising or billboards or um, even just other online uh, ways of marketing. Social media campaigns also have an extremely low cost. Often they're free for obvious reasons. Facebook doesn't charge anything uh, to be a part of its network. Um, some companies do pay to have increased traffic online, but it's a very low cost overall, especially compared to those more traditional forms of marketing. Uh, social media platforms also have the benefit of snowball participation. So here, think about when a, a company runs an ad in a magazine. Let's say Axe Body Spray runs an ad uh, in a magazine. They pay a lot of money to have a full page print ad in a magazine. However, they can produce a funny video, which there's obviously cost there, um, but then they circulate it on social media, and then what happens? It blows up, right? Because people like it, which then sends a message out to other people that follow that person on Twitter that, or on Facebook that has liked it, or they share it, which also obviously sends it out. So there's snowball participation. The company gets the ball rolling. But members, constituents, consumers really help snowball uh, that cause, that product, that brand out. And then we're finding that social media marketing is a little bit more personal than traditional forms of marketing. So there's a conversation, there's a dialogue between consumers and companies, between uh, stakeholders and the people that they're associated with in a way that hasn't been possible in other, in other platforms. We're going to talk a little bit more about these benefits, but no, just as a brief background, this is kind of where we're going in the lecture. So what is a social media campaign or what does it look like? Well, you've all likely seen this. So as somebody who has studied body image in the past, this is something that I've, I've looked at pretty extensively. This is uh, an image that you've likely had experience with, and it was stemmed from a social media campaign, which was Dove's Real Beauty campaign, which they've been circulating and rolling out continuously since about 2004. The whole idea behind this campaign is that all bodies are beautiful, specifically all women's bodies are beautiful, despite shape, size, uh, 
maybe scarring, other things. All bodies are beautiful. They produced a series of sketch artist uh, drawings where women would describe how they viewed themselves and a sketch artist would draw that and then a sketch artist would also draw how they actually looked and they would compare the two and the whole message here was that women you're more beautiful than you think you are which started a whole cultural dialogue and conversation about uh, the way we see and treat women's bodies which is obviously very important to me you know my research interest none of this would have been possible without social media um, and I think you probably all likely come across this uh, this whole ad campaign are there benefits to this? Yes. Uh, when we look at the profits of the Dove campaign uh, and, and what Dove has been able to do since this campaign, we know that they've had double-digit profits since 2005 uh, based specifically on this social media effort. So there are benefits to this, and we're going to talk more about those benefits when we convene in class. So what I want you to be thinking about and I want you to be able to discuss is this. What makes a good social media campaign or what makes a bad social media campaign? Uh, specifically, think about them in terms of ethics. Some of the ethical considerations we've had in the other chapters and other lectures we've discussed so far this semester. Are there different ethical considerations that we need to make when we produce a social media campaign? And then, what are the steps or how would you design a good social media campaign? So here's what I want you to do. Typically, you know that you create a study guide based on online lectures. Here's what I want you to do instead. I want you to find a social media campaign from your social media dashboard. And I simply mean from your Twitter, from your Facebook, from any of the social media platforms you're connected to. It could be a Facebook campaign or it could be something like a hashtag campaign from Twitter or Facebook now as well. I want you to take a screenshot of that campaign and include that image on a Word document and write up one short paragraph. I want you to tell me what is the campaign, what do you assume that the goal of that campaign is, or what, are, what is its stated goal. Is the campaign ethical? Why or why not? Is it a popular campaign? So how many people are rallying around this cause? Give me an idea. And then is it successful or was it successful if it's a past campaign? And briefly tell me how so. I want you to have that Word document ready to go. Do not submit it to Save to Sign yet because you're going to take some notes in class on Monday uh, for the exam. You'll combine this with the notes you take in class on Monday about, about the uh, social media campaign lecture. And then you'll submit those together to Save for Sign. This, I can tell you, will play a significant role, oh, maybe not significant, this will play a role uh, on exam number two. You will want to do this assignment um, because it will help you get some points. So make sure you do this and be prepared to talk about it in class uh, when we reconvene on Monday to talk about social media campaigns. So that's all we have for this lecture. I briefly do want to give you an idea of what this might look like. So think back to old Facebook, maybe you received or were part of this campaign. Uh, when I was in undergrad, I was part of this, uh, which was a campaign to bring Betty White to host SNL. Lots of people rallied around this cause, and lo and behold, Betty White hosted SNL. So this is an example of something that you could talk about, or an example of the type of campaign I'm looking for. Uh, you, There are no limits. You can talk about any campaign you wish, uh, but make sure you meet all the requirements that I listed on that slide. I look forward to our talk about social media campaigns, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.